So we'll just put a big blob here. That is a bloody mess. It will act as a converter on the deeper rust. Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Flip My Ride. We're talking rust removal in today's episode. The plan of attack at the moment is to get the back end of the Lux sorted. The thing that's gonna take a lot of time is the rust removal. And I'm not talking rust in the cab, that's a whole other shitstorm that's coming. We're talking about the surface rust that's on the chassis rails and the diff and everything else. It's not deep, it's just everywhere. It's something that I need to address if I wanna move forward. I want the car to look like it's been cared for and maintained. So I need to get that surface rust right off and um, then cover it and coat it and paint it and all that kind of stuff. But I can't do that with that surface rust there because it's just gonna uh, sit there and then corrode underneath the paint and cause more drums down the track. Now, I'm not a fan of sanding and grinding and masks and dust and all that kind of shit. I've done some research on Google and on YouTubes looking for a product that would help me get rid of the rust before we paint it. Came across many rust converters uh, and, and rust removal products, but there was one particular product and one company that stood out, and that's the company here locally uh, on the coast called Action Corrosion and their rust removal gel. Action Corrosion are killing it in the rust game, both here in Australia, they've moved across to Asia and now pushing into the USA, which is fantastic for a local Aussie company. So I reached out to them and um, asked them if I could in some way get hold of their rust removal gel and they were kind enough to supply me with two and a half litres of their uh, action gel here, the removal gel, at basically cost price, which is gonna help me out in the build. We'll see how their product works and attacking that chassis and all the other rusty parts. Brendan was the gentleman who dropped the gel off to me. Um, after chatting with Brendan for a little while, he told me that the rust was quite heavy, even though it was surface rust, it was quite heavy and uh, I needed to wire brush or wire wheel the bulk of the surfaces uh, in order for the gel to be put on and, and work correctly. So before I went crazy and wire brushed the whole thing, I thought I'd experiment on a couple of spots. So I wire brushed some spots and I didn't wire brush some other spots. And then I applied the action removal gel. Uh, upon Brendan's advice, I just was experimenting to see basically how much time would be required in order for the gel to work correctly. I'm going to try now and experiment with the um, rust gel. Just a test patch here and a couple other spots. I'm going to put that into just a small little jar here. And using the brush, I'm going to apply it nice and liberally over those sections of the chassis. Leave it for an hour and then come back and see what it looks like. I don't need to mix it or anything. We'll just put some in here just a little bit. Pretty thick consistency. to paint it on like you're icing a cake. All right, here we go, first time using the gel. I'm just trialing a few spots and don't let the, the gel dry, that's important. I haven't scratched that with the wire brush, but I wanna see how it reacts. So we'll just put a big blob here. So some of that has been wire brushed, some hasn't, and some has been degreased and steeloed. Give it about half an hour to an hour. We'll see what that looks like. Got some changes. We, uh, we can see some of the rust is gone. I'll have another, I'll have another look when it dries. Yeah, some, some rust coming off. We've got some bare metal down here, up here, but. Um, I'm guessing I've got to do more rubbing before. This is where I didn't do much rubbing at all. It's done nothing. And you can see here there is a difference between there and there. And over here as well. It's dark, but that's without it. And that's with the rust remover on. So, a little bit on the shackle here on the spring. Well, that isn't what I expected. We'll see what it's like tomorrow when it's dry, but um, I've got to find a better way of getting that remover to actually work. I don't think it's reacting enough to remove the rust. 
So we're going to move from trying to just dissolve the shit and grind it to wet blasting with sand, sand wet blasting. Uh, hopefully that'll get rid of the necessary rust and clean it up beautifully. Let's go and get this wet blaster. <laughs> Next I headed to Bunnings to find some sand to use as the abrasive, just some basic playground sand. Then went home, set up the kasha with the attachment and experimented on the spare wheel. It wasn't great but I could see the potential. So we got the wet sandblasting attachment for the little old kasha. I hit this uh, just the other day and uh, it took off the rust but um, and took it back to a lot of the bare metal but it's flash rusted so now it's it's got this very light um, layer of rust on top and I've put the gel on to see if it'll work with it and this is what the gel is meant to do uh, so there's probably just too much crud on that chassis so I need to get the chassis blasted down to a point where I get this happening and then I'm going to put the rust removal on so as you can see the rusty area now and we've got this nice clean area up top all right with the sandblasting we have many different or wet sandblasting there's many different mediums you can use uh, recycled glass plastic and sand so i originally tried some sand uh, river sand and it's just too wet and clumpy that's been out in the sun for a day so what's happening is with the wet sandblaster it works on a ventry type system where it draws the sand up through a hose as the water comes out of the end of the nozzle and that's just not coming out properly so that's 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 no good uh, then i tried some garnet this is the black stuff good very abrasive but it just chews through it really quickly and that's 33 dollars a bag and i'm not going to use that because it'll cost me more than the ute and then um, i went down to the local landscape yard yesterday and we've got some kiln dried sand and that's what we need it's very dry and it doesn't retain any moisture and it draws through nice look at that so that's what we're going to be using today hopefully we'll get a little bit more of this rust off and then we can use the uh, rust removal gel So yay, success, it's working. It's just taking a little longer than I anticipated. I think it's because my sand is a little too fine and the kasha is slightly underpowered. So I'm gonna address that later down the track. That is a bloody mess. So it is taking off the rust, but it's now flash rusting immediately. So you can see it's just yellowed up straight away, but I'm hoping, like I showed you with the spare wheel, we can paint the rust gel on there, rust removal gel, and that should get it off. And by the way, we must wear safety protection. I should have a mask on as well, but I've only just used a tiny little bit. But when I'm doing the whole lot, it's going to be mask up and gloves on. It is basically a phosphoric acid based uh, rust remover. So you want to be safe. Have a look at that, would you? Immediately, it's cleaned up. So that's what I've been hoping for. Instant. So I'm gonna leave that on there, not even for an hour, I think. And that should do the trick all over. So see, it's clear, and then we've got these dark places. Brendan from um, Action Corrosion did say that it will act as a converter on the deeper rust. So you'll get that blackening. That's the oxid uh, the, the turning of it into basically iron. Um, the chemical reaction. So we've got our clean surface down to the bare metal here and then we've got sort of our rust conversion happening here. So that's fantastic. Let's rinse it off. Fantastic. All right, that is looking bloody fantastic now. It's gonna work, it's doing exactly what it's meant to do and what I was hoping it would do, just a little bit. There's some more extra steps involved and it's not gonna be as easy as I thought, but I'd still rather do that than do the grinding and sanding. I still might need to do the odd, little hard to get place, but we're moving forward. So I'm gonna to continue to lay down the rust removal gel from Action Corrosion uh, when the weather is completely sunny during the week. And next time we come back to flip my ride, that should be all clean and ready to lay down some, basically rust seal or rust encapsulator for the whole chassis. And that will prevent any further corrosion. So that's next time on flip my ride. Hopefully we will have that chassis sorted. It's up to the weather at the moment. I can't get the car into the garage 
Well, particularly because I've got to sandblast again. I've got to finish it, but that's still sitting here, the Peugeot. The pug's not getting picked up till the 5th of August for the shipment on the 10th of August back to or over to Malaysia. So I can't do anything. I've got no space in this place. So I've pretty much done under the bonnet. It's looking pretty smick. Um, but when, when I go to painting it, I want it in here on jack stands so I can just paint the whole lot at once and we don't get any rust issues again. So I hope you've enjoyed that. We've clocked over 600 subs uh, and we're nearly one year old and things are looking great. I'm, I'm happy as. Uh, thanks for all the support. Thanks for your comments, your likes. And uh, also, please, if you like what you saw today and go look at all my old videos. I've got videos on Corollas and uh, an old motorbike. Go and check them out. But if you do like it, please subscribe and hit the bell notification that just uh, notifies you so you know you can watch some super YouTubes.